What's up YouTube? Now that it's basically the end of the season, uh, most of my clutches have hatched and then our BC show uh, in Tinley Park October has passed. I want to show some of the the stuff I got and some of the stuff I produced. Here's the first one. This is, um, I got this at NRBC. I think she's getting ready for shed, but she still looks pretty good. It's a little pastel pied uh, female. Got a decent amount of pied projects going. Really nice animal. Eats super well. Yeah, I think she's just about going in, or just ready to go in the shed. She looks a little dull. On to other uh, pie projects, this is an uh, animal I produced myself. Ooh, he almost bit me right there. Well, this is a black pastel pinstripe that's 100% het pied and 50% <clears throat> het orange ghost. Let's see if I can get them in the light here. Really nice stripes on all these. These came out really well. Really neat animal. Hopefully produce some cool stuff in the future with that pastel pied. And I got some other just adult pies that they can go to. Here's another one. This is my uh, female black pastel pinstripe pet pied posset ghost. Um, here's the snake I picked up from uh, a good friend and a local breeder. It's just a mystic male, but we both think there's something else going on with it, just due to its its blacks are jet black, and um, compared to a lot of the other babies, like he just didn't look anything like the other mystics. It's really not showing up that much in this light, but there, there's more of his color. His tail's really cool. Yeah, I definitely want to prove him out. Either way, he's a great looking mystic. Sure, the combos will look good. Eats really well. Let's see. Oh, I'll show this really quick. This is the first pairing I just started doing. It's a firefly to a female pin. Most of my out of the projects aren't going to be going for another month or two. That one's just going early. Leave them be. Here's another, uh, this is an animal I produced. These things are just beautiful in every way. It's a uh, super lesser. Well, there's a nice shot of her, nice blue eyes. She came out super nice, really clean. I like the lesser gene. Still got some female lessers available if anybody's interested. They are super nice. I'll show one really quick. And they eat everything. Really clean patterns on all of them. Just got two females left. Oh, here's one I actually um, got in a trade from Serpent Den. This is a Mojave girl that's 100% het pied, 50% uh, possible het exanthic. I'm obviously mainly going for the pied gene with her. But um, she really pops compared to some of the other Mojaves. Like, here's another Mojave that I produced, which is just really nice Mojave itself, but it does vary a little bit in color. 
that's my Moabi, and this is the Hep Hide one. Oh, she can stay still. Just a little darker blacks and some weird side pattern. Get her back really quick. And then here's more of my favorite stuff that I produced this year. I produced uh, three of these. These are uh, calico bumblebees. I have one male and two females. I'm considering selling one for 2500 so if someone's really interested, let me know. But they came out super nice. Let's see if I can get her to unroll a little bit. Just really high white. That's one of them. Yeah, they're a little fussy. There's a really... That's what I was trying to get on the other one, but she wouldn't unroll. Is their tails are super clean on these. Really happy with the way these came out. Nice, big, healthy babies. Oh, this uh, animal also I picked up from that same breeder I got the Mystic from. It's a male Mystic Potion. He's really light, though. We were wondering if it could be a pastel potion, but we... We don't think it is, but there's a small chance. Its head is just a little too dark, but other than that, the body and pattern resembles what a pastel potion would look like. But I just still think that head's a little too dark. Oh, I got this from the same breeder as well. It's a, it's an onyx, a black pastel, het red. These are really cool looking. Really dark animals. Curious to see what some, what combos you can get with these. Haven't seen too much done with them so far. There's another one of the calico bees. This is probably, I think, the nicest one. And also the meanest. This is the male. Just really cool animals. I believe that's it on holdbacks and purchased animals. Plus, I'm running out of battery life. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested, I got some a couple animals for sale, like the female lessers, uh, the black pin, hat pies. I got two males left, some male Mojaves, and a female bumblebee. I'll show her really fast. This is you know, the clutch with the calico bees. She's for sale. Oh, we've got a male spider for sale. Oh, here's a really nice one. Here's the male calico. My calico stuff always comes out really nice. My male's really stellar animal. Cool belly shot. Well, yeah, lots of pink on this guy.
Am I Calico Male? Like, a lot of the pink turns to white, but, um, he still kept a lot of the cool, like, pink color and a lot of the flames. Held his color really well. But yeah, if you're interested in any of these animals, uh, or just want to leave some comments, check it out. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Got a reptile page, Matt Marburg Reptiles. I'll include it in the description. But, alright, thanks for checking it out.